Assalamu alaikum fratelli e sorelle, rieccoci qua. Spero che siete tutti bene, benvenuti di nuovo sul mio canale YouTube. Oggi prenderò un argomento molto 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 importante, soprattutto per gli uomini, anche okay, comunque anche le donne eh, probabilmente lo fanno. E, ovviamente eh, in, questi, eh, in questa eh, generazione in cui noi ci troviamo, eh, non sono eh, tutti musulmani eh, e ovviamente ci troviamo incontro a persone che diciamo eh, meno, meno coperti ecco e che sono meno coperti eh, e che comunque attrae l'attenzione soprattutto degli uomini o comunque uomini molto muscolosi eh, o comunque che comunque attraggono la donna eh, e questa cosa è Aram eh, io comunque ho trovato un video molto interessante che, guarda proprio, che riguarda proprio questo, riguarda proprio il fatto che dobbiamo abbassare lo sguardo e poi commenterò su. Guardiamo insieme. Sì, posso chiedere come implementare questa cosa, ma non mi lascio doubting. One hadith che Rasulullah ha detto, he did say, he mentioned another sahmun masmum min sihami iblis. Casting a lust, there's, there's two glances. One is that I'm driving my car. I'm looking where to go, and by chance I'm looking and I'm trying to cross the road and there's a woman there. That's a mistake, that's, that's, that's by accident. Like a, like a awwal al-nadhr, fa ma baalu bithaniya. Ali radiallahu anhu was asked, you know, by, by someone who looks at a woman by mistake, is that guna? And he said, no, 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 once, like a awwal al-nadhr, the first nadhr, that's okay, that's understandable. Fa ma baalu bithaniya, why are you looking a second time? Why are you looking the second time? Let me tell you a little joke that happened about this actually. There were some brothers, you know Jamaat brothers, they come stay in the masjid, do da'wah. So one elder came, there was a Jamaat there, some youngsters joined the Jamaat and they wanted to go for da'wah. So the, 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 what the elder said to me, he said, Bai, when you go outside, don't look at women, first nazar is mouth, not the second one. So what happened was a girl walking past, he goes, bam, and he's looking at the girl, like staring at her. And the guy goes, brother, didn't I just say looking at the women was haram? He said, Amir Sahib, you said the first glance is haram. I said, look once, look good. But don't take Islam to that extreme. There, there's no gunjais for your nafs. Oh, like a whole another khata, mistake. Like, achha. That's okay. But look at, oh, toba, second time. Nah, you gotta draw the line. You gotta draw the line. Once accident, no problem. Second time, now you're doing it with shahwa, now you're doing it design, now you're doing it with intent. There's a difference. So this is why first nazar is, is forgive, not the second one. However, nevertheless, lustful glances, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned, they're like poisonous arrows from the arrows of shaitan. How are they poisonous? Because if you look at someone who's really super attractive, that plays in your mind thereafter. You'll be reminiscing, think, oh man, she was really strikingly hot. And if she was like this, and you kind of think, picture the contours of the body. And I look, gentle, we're gentlemen here, yeah? And I say not men, gentlemen, because we're polite people as well. But the reality is, if we don't talk about this stuff, then it just seems that you know, Islam is just namaz and roza. And our deen is really encompassing. It teaches us all the khayr of dunya and akhirah. So why wouldn't this be discussed as well? Where is the haya and modesty? This is part of haya. al haya shu'batun min al-iman. Haya is a branch from iman, and this is part of haya. We wouldn't like someone to look at our mother like that, our sister like that with a sexual lustful desire, well why should you look at someone else's daughter? Why should you look at someone else's mother? Why should you look at someone else's auntie? So Islam is about putting yourself in that person's position, empathic, understanding how another person would feel. And that's why one of the reasons why it's not permissible. But it's like a poisonous arrow, where you look at someone and you reminisce. Man, she was like this and she was like this. And sometimes when you look into a mirror, you have a reality check. I can strike someone like that. Let's be realistic. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Because if, you, if, if a person themselves is not that attractive and they're constantly casting lustful glances, it's like basically caging someone and starving them for a week and then putting their arm reaches there and an extra meter away you put a pile of cooked barbecue and say he reached for the food. He's never going to be able to reach for it. Why are you even putting him through that punishment? So similarly as well, when you're going around looking left, right, why are you putting yourself through this torture, this heartache, this pain, this... Sahmun Musmum, this poisonous arrow from shaitan. And you're going to be left thinking, looking in the mirror, I'm ugly, look at me, look at how I look. Inferiority complex, depression, anxiety, social phobia. Where did it all start from? Casting a lustful glance. You see how it, it, it poisons, it poisons society. And Allah Ramkare, let's be realistic. I stuck for I don't like to touch on these subjects, but nowadays, if you're not looking outside, people are looking on their devices. 
people, a, a, a quick, quick link and bomb will take you. Where does it take us? Astaghfirullah. A person needs iman of a brick, hardcore. When they see something fahisha, they should say, Astaghfirullah, this is not, it's not for a Muslim. It's not for a believer. It's not for a person who says, La ilaha illallah. Malki Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there's a hadith Qudsi he mentioned, and I'm coming to an end and I'll mention this. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that, and this is a hadith Qudsi, Allah says that, you know when you cast lustful, you know what lustful means here, when you look at someone sexually, attractively, that's poisonous arrow from shaitan. Man tarakahu makhafati, abdaltuhu imanin yajid halawatahu fi qalbihi. This is what Allah says in the hadith Qudsi. If a person who comes across this situation where they see someone, but then they put their gunazar on, they say, no, no, no. Astaghfirullah, it's just obeying Allah. Later that happen a few times, this person will taste the sweetness of this within their heart. They will be able to taste the sweetness of Iman. Maybe not physical, but that will propel you to doing good deeds. When you look in a negative way, the ibadat which we do, the spirituality, it drops instantly. You may build up spirituality, mashallah, feel good, mashallah, Jummah happen, and as soon as you go outside, mashallah, rang barangi, and all of a sudden, boom, your, 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 your deen, your iman is at, in, is at stake. And we've already got an inferiority complex anyway, because we look at English people, and I'm half English, so that sort of post-colonial sort of, yeah, you know, we, we're kind of under, and we're kind of this sort of mentality, and let's not even go into a political side of things, we'll start up a whole hot discussion. But there's this whole thing, why is it fair and lovely, is the hottest selling cream in Pakistan and, and across India? And Asia in general, because you put the cream on, it makes you white. Everyone wants to be whiter than what they are. The more white you are, the more attractive you are. So psychologically, we're already geared to think that people outside are more attractive than us or me. So khair, this is a psychology. Now let's move away from psychology and come back to this. Let's finish off on this point. Your guys, ni'mah from Allah, blessing from Allah. You can't put a price on this ni'mah and blessing. All Allah is saying, use it in the correct way. Bas. They're using it in the correct way. If you do make a mistake, astaghfirullah, yalla, give me tawfiq, please. And there's no wazifa, there's no medical med- medicine. The, 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 the himmat is just for you to say no and stop. And Allah will give you tawfiq. You'll find it hard the first time. Second time you'll find it less hard. Then third time less hard. And then it will come a point in your time, yajid hala wa tahu fi qalbihi. When you come across a woman, she can be strikingly beautiful. You don't want to look at her in a lustful way. You keep your gaze down. Allah will give you sweetness in your heart. Mashallah, veramente questo video è veramente molto importante eh, e veramente fa pensare eh, che molte persone, persone a volte lo, lo fanno proprio perché è la loro intenzione a volte magari proprio per colpa di qualcuno che è proprio accanto a te che ti dice guarda quello ma guarda questo magari non solo magari un uomo una donna ma proprio perché magari eh, è vestito in un certo modo e, e poi si comincia a giudicare comincia a fare arama anche su quello eh, quindi ci sono tanti modi in cui una persona con gli occhi può fare a ram, eh, perché poi a sua volta può fare a ram anche con la bocca o, o anche, anche con, le, con le mani, eh, di, perché poi comunque conoscendo quella persona poi si possono anche arrivare a altre cose più gravi. Eh, comunque sia, eh, dobbiamo assolutamente stare attenti, abbassare lo sguardo, dare meno confidenza ehm, e comunque abbassare lo sguardo e comunque la protezione per noi musulmani. Eh, so che è difficile perché gira veramente eh, per le strade persone che comunque non sono vestite correttamente e attraggono l'attenzione, eh, però dobbiamo essere forti. Questa è proprio la prova che dobbiamo dare all'Islam, la dimostrazione che noi siamo forti. Eh, con questo concludo, spero di vederci presto. Assalamu alaikum.